Hi, Intern Algebra. This is just a quick overview of the work for the weekend and for Tuesday to make sure you know what's going on. So the first thing you'll see is that on your calendar on Schoology, you have a self-paced pair deck that's due on Monday evening. Of course, you can do it before then. Click on the link for your period. So suppose you're period three, then you'll click here and it'll have you choose your account. Make sure that you choose your school email to sign in. Now, the thing to know about Pear Deck um, is that it will automatically save. There is no submit button. Um, so as you start, some of these will not have anything for you to do, and some of the slides will have something for you to answer, right? And once you answer, um, then it will have a check your work slide. Okay, when you get to this slide, it says use the text tool. So you'll see that you can draw on here, but you can also click the T for text and fill in. So this says uh, number of tacos, and then you're gonna fill in the cost. So you can just put five or you can put $5. Um, and you'll notice that um, then it jumps to 10 and then there's an X. And in the last row here, you're gonna have to write an algebraic expression. Think like we practiced in class. Once you get to the end, the last slide will just say great job and remind you that it auto saves. The other thing that's coming up for you on Tuesday, um, and you can see if you're in school G here, Tuesday, September 8th, there's an agenda, which is a great idea to open and check out. Um, it will have a couple things on here. It has the Delta math assignment, as well as the Pear Deck to make sure that you have that done over the weekend. When you log into Delta Math, this will be your assignment. The first assignment, I would start there, um, and it's having you drag the terms. So I know like two and two, those are like terms. So if I put them next to each other, it'll ask me what happens when I add them. And then I'll do four and negative five. And then I will add the X terms together and that's gonna give me three X. And I'll say you've done this successfully and you could submit your answer. Now remember if you get stuck, all right, notice here that two of these terms have a G and one of them does not. The two like terms are the ones with the G there. And then the 0 0.24, the negative 0 0.24, does not have any like terms with it. So I might rewrite this even as 1.0 G. And if I've got one minus 0.75, I know that's gonna give me 0.25 G minus 0 0.24. So I'm gonna choose that answer. And here it is just in a slightly different order. The last one is a little bit harder. And this is using the distributive property. Of course, the help videos are there and the examples are there as well. So the distributive property we just barely touched on in class. Um, if I take this four and I distribute to both terms in the parentheses, I'm gonna have four times negative three F plus four times negative four minus nine F. Uh, so negative 12 F minus 16 minus nine F. The terms with the same variable, same exponent, are like terms. So the 16 is going to be by itself. And then I'm going to have negative 21f minus 16. 